Nigerian is that Nigerian, is that person who is detravelized, who religion does not taint their thinking, whether it's Islamic, whether it's Christianity, whether it is uh, uh, paganism, you know, uh, they're not bothered with that. The Unity School O Student Association, a coalition of 110 alumni, calls on federal government to look into the state of education system in Nigeria as it is becoming alarming that students are being adopted. The association whose aim is to advance the cause of unity, stability and progress of the country through quality education express their dissatisfaction on the state of education sector in the country coupled with insecurity in the sector of education. This was made known to newsmen by the President General of the Association, Lawrence Wilbert. We have a mission which is to advance the cause of unity, strength, stability and progress of Nigeria through quality education whilst creating this community of old students of these unity schools to positively impact their lives. This said, what we stand for and what we drive on a daily basis is excellence in the education sector and good governance. What worries us on a daily basis is the state of the education sector in Nigeria. And we cannot and do not rest well when we hear of what is going on in this sector. We have spoken about our interventions, and that's because of the poor state of the sector. The federal government, whose primary responsibility for our unity schools, because they own it, have come out in different fora to state that they need help. And in this needing help, that is where we step forward and do what we do. Beyond what is happening with the Federal Unity Colleges, you still do have the state schools. You still do have even the private schools. And that is where USOSA chooses to partner with the Federal Ministry of Education to see that we can engage from our wealth of experience of our alumni worldwide to share our experience in elevating the state of the education sector. Now, this brings me to talk about one of the primary reasons we're ha having our AGM tomorrow, which is security. A lot has been said about security. A lot is being said about security. But I think what is sad is what is happening, the true state of security in the nation would zero it all this down to what is happening to security in the education sector. Recently, we could see what happened with our students, our students, us in Buninyori. Sad situation. But we are glad to to, to state, and we're happy when we interface with the federal ministry um, that the matter was taken with all sense of responsibility and seriousness um, to see that working with the state government, we could search and get the students back. But we also go back historically to see what happened in our dear school in Buninyadi, FJCU Buninyadi. There are spats of insecurity incidents happening all across the nation, not just in the north. I must also state that what also saddens our hearts is still the situation with the Chibok girls, which tend to be forgotten in current conversations many a times because we are having repeat incidences of the Chibok girls, where there is repeated attacks on our schools. Now, this is coming from a sense of insecurity where we have terrorists, bandits, 
attacking our schools. Within the schools themselves, there is also a different level of insecurity which we could talk about. But let me deal with the external threat from bandits and kidnappers and terrorists. This is a serious issue which we'll be looking to have a serious conversation on tomorrow because the Socians, as we call ourselves, we are in a different strata of economy in Nigeria, in the different sectors. We are in the military. We are in the security services. We are in the presidency. We are in the National Assembly. We are everywhere in Nigeria. So it is time for us now to look at ourselves eye to eye and ask ourselves those questions. What are we doing with the responsibility that the nation has put on us? We want to engage the education stakeholders, particularly the Federal Ministry of Education, in a constructive um, partnership where we can work together to improve uh, the quality uh, in those schools. Um, even the government has confessed that you know, they are limited in what they can do. And USOSA is quite happy to collaborate with government, uh, and indeed any other stakeholder in that industry, to bring the schools back to where it should be. We are happy that the Federal Minister of Education has given us an, a USOSA desk in the ministry where our challenges can be addressed so that we as a stakeholder have a presence so that interface is continued. Or Larry Waji, Voice TV, Nigeria.